in the wake of this weekend's epic battle, uh, the Valkyries were there, but they will not be taking anyone to Valhalla. But both boys will enter Valhalla. But they've been be given VIP passes. Huge, for sure. huge, huge. The finest meats, all the mead they want. Honey oh. mead, even. <laughs> honey mead, for sure. Honeyed mead, for sure. Just, just plates of just huge games. Pure, Those boys meat. absolutely crushed it. Now, the next thing, obviously, it's very simple to know what's next for Artura Betabiev, King Arthur, the Lycan King, all hail What will the happen, what we want to happen. Two things we know. There's, there's two things, right? So there's Callum <clears throat> Smith or there's Bivol. Slightly unavoidable. Undisputed. Apparently, Canelo's got the right pox about Bivol and wants Bivol at 168. Now, as far as I'm concerned... Bivol said no. Bivol's, like, uh, uh, Bivol, like, do undisputed. Don't yeah. bother with Canelo. You beat him. It's done. It's like, he he out, needs to learn to take Atlantean. the L. Yeah, it, yes. You, I mean, he might be the truest Atlantean because he's I think from he's an actual Atlantean. He's not even descendant from. He's an Atlantean. Guadalajara, boy. Yeah. And he's, and he's jean -Jure. He's in that, that thing that we got shown. Shout out, Narco Longo. The Pillars of Hercules. Yeah, don't, set, don't add the side quest and stuff. Um, but what's next for Yard is actually way more interesting because he's So exciting for that. Man. This is it. Right? So exciting. So... If there, they there make are so many good matchups. Oh yeah, you're talking on this. Sure. Sick. Yard Yard versus Yard versus <laughs> Boatsy in the UK is massive, right? I don't and want to see it yet, but it's huge. No, it's huge. But Yard versus Boatsy, considering how Boatsy did not look fantastic against Craig Richards, he did. True. He, it was a good fight, and Craig is Craig is so 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 underrated. He really is. Oh, I he's think tough. He, as nails. I may even make that post when we finish this, sweet Sammy J. The underrated, overrated, Craig, Craig Richards. I think he yeah. is deeply underrated. Right? I think he was, he got put into that Boatsy fight with everyone thinking that was going to be Boatsy's. Um, it was supposed like, to be a highlight reel, right? Well, no, no, no. Yeah, it, that was. It, if he had had that performance with Craig Richards, he would have been the yeah. real deal. Up to that point, yeah. he'd been banging out random French geezers. He had been, yeah. you know, a, a real, real mix. He seems to have conditioning problems, in in my opinion. He seems to not have the gas tank for light for heavy. His style. I don't, for his, for it, his style, for light seems, heavy. There's, yeah, it does seem to be that there's something. Maybe he like, whatever. He's got a restrictor what, on. But there's something from what we can see and what we yeah. can guess. It looks like something's going wrong, and then that the that the, the, the lines aren't connecting. Yes. Because his power's still not a problem. Nope. And it's the explosivity, his style, his skill, his everything boxing nope. wise, fine doesn't seem to be a problem. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be easy for him to sustain that. No. Whether that be that he's just not naturally that way inclined, doesn't seem mm. to be that because he's cracking up serious, serious Dude, power shots. If you look at Boatsy's knockouts, like his knockout reel, none of them are particularly kind. Nope, at all. So it's nothing. It doesn't seem that. The only thing you can right. lead is. The conditioning doesn't seem to be matched up for it. So Yard this time was unsuccessful in his challenge as the WBO mandatory. Right? Yep. Him versus Joe Smith is just barbarism. It is a, a, oh, a war. For sure. There is for sure. It's one of those ones where it's like you cannot have a bad fight between those two fighters because both of them come to absolutely do it. Yep. Smith has one speed destroy yard has a couple more wrinkles to it to be fair to him we've seen Probably, him go through the gears now and he can work at all of them quite comfortably very much um, so especially now They're more both, than ever both coming off decent performances as well against better be ever isn't there well well joe, did. joe didn't do that great joe yard, quite yard did, so yeah. well. joe, joe got done in two um i don't think that he i don't think that he had to believe the hype of better be Ev. And then he he learned that it was not hype; it was real. And I, yeah. I think Joe's a fantastic. I really like Joe. I like him yeah. a lot. I think him and Yard is one of the best fights that they can make. And I think it's the one that makes the most sense at the moment for Yard. For sure, for Yard like, and for Joe Smith. What does Joe Smith and do? for Joe and for Joe? Joe, yeah. they, they but the, the way Americans do things is always a little bit. Uh, we have no idea the rhyme or reason behind why they put who in with who sometimes. Mm. Um, yeah. But like Yard, to me, beats him. 
Mm. Comfortably. Quickly. 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 Well. I think, like I think four, devastatingly. Five. Devastating knockout. Yeah. Devastating. Like a knockout that we haven't seen on Joe Smith. One of them, like, it makes it look worse than when he lost to Betabiev. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, It'll be yeah, like a... I agree. Like, doctors in the ring, there's no count type knockout. I see that from the way that Yard boxes, the way we've seen him box on the weekend. Yeah. He'll get and some you know what vicious, the say. vicious shots. The haters will say that Betabiev softened him up. Betabiev, he's oh, never of course been, they will. He'll never, he'll never of course be the same will. after Betabiev. Right, yeah. so... Joe Smith has but, got... But, but, the, then, but then your caveat's out. Well, all right, so Yard's a softer version than he was as well then, and he still did that. No, Yard's fine. Where's your argument, bro? There's there's not. There's not. It does, it does, I don't think it, it exactly. just doesn't work that way. So, Boetsy versus Yard has been banded around for, what, three years? Four yeah. years? It's been around for a long time. To put Boetsy in against Yard after getting stopped by Betabiev from a tactical point, from a strategic point for Matram, for Boatsy's reps and 258 and everyone else that manages Boatsy, there is no better time to put him in with Yard than now. Yard is coming off a loss. Yard is coming off a KO loss. Yard mm -hmm. is coming off... Uh, he probably took more damage then than he did out because the, stop the, the, the stoppage that he had with Kovalev, he gassed. It wasn't a problem. Like that wasn't. That was like a Conor near. McGregor stoppage. Exactly. That was like a gas tank's gone completely, completely. There and was nothing left. That he just that was just like the little the little nail dumped. in the coffin that yeah. just sorted him out. And he was like, he weren't really badly, badly hurt. He just couldn't continue. He was just done. Sometimes, so, sometimes you can't continue, and it ain't because you're broken by a punch. No, it's just the accumulation of everything. And look at um, nothing wrong with that. Carol Atiuma. That's what happened yeah. to him. Like he he was just he was just done. Like he couldn't, he couldn't, he just, he was just, he yeah. truly hurt, truly yeah. and utterly hurt. And I don't know if he knew, he thought he was maybe like seriously hurt, touch wood, glad he's not. But Bawetsi versus Yard now does make an awful lot of sense. It makes a fortune. They probably sell out the Emirates. They sell out the London Stadium. That That is a London Stadium fight I think with a decent does. undercard. They'll probably Yard's do Spurs. Screaming for a, well, Yard's screaming for a fight at the Emirates, isn't he? I mean, yeah. all he yeah. wears is Adidas yeah. Gunners merch, isn't it? So I think that's something that's got to happen soon. Yeah. I mean, th this is it. And... Who else is there for him to actually fight at the Emirates? That's well, the issue. I've got a few curveballs here. What about that um, Ramirez that just came off the loss against Bibble? Yeah. Because I mean, he's he... something like 40, Yard pieces him up. 44. 44-1, yeah. I think he is. I think I think that would be like uh, the, the the size of him uh, makes him formidable, but he's not he's, he's not menacing with anything. No, he's not fast enough. He's not he's not explosive with his power. He, he's just a big grinder down dude. And yeah, I think that Yard, doesn't work against Yard. Yard's Yard explosive him. and powerful. I think he breaks him. That yeah, really I, I breaks think, him. Breaks him to the body. That breaks him to the head. Is, it's a statement enough win just on the record itself because he's beaten someone who's only he's only lost once and that was against Bibble True. and it's almost like a you know when like at the World Cup you've got the final and then you've got the like runners up third versus fourth place at it's the world? kind of that do, do, do you know I think what I mean? That's that kick soccer yeah, yeah, racing. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no, he's talking about <laughs> yeah. he's talking about he's talking about kickball. Um, no, I know what you're saying. You're, you're talking about the battle for third place or fourth yeah. place. But the thing in is, this is instance. I don't think that Ramirez holds. I think he's no. battled for fifth place, sixth place. I think that, yeah, maybe lower. Like Joe Smith Jr. is the one, uh, the one that's that's that because it the, would be fighting the same guy the man, right? who lost Better BF. Number one. Better BF, Bivol, number Bivol. two. Yeah. Callum Smith. Callum. Callum. Yard. Fact. Then Joe Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Smith. And then I'm going to say it. Craig Richards did better against Bivol than than Ramirez. Craig <laughs> probably deserves to be seven, I think, eight, six. I think six. Paul, Paul, Paul Ramirez down a few. Like he's yeah. Dan not... Aziz, Dan Aziz is top ten. Dan will have it with anyone. Dan's up for these fights as well. He's just not to be proven yet at world level. He is coming into European level and doesn't and need that's to be the rushed. Next stage. No, he definitely doesn't. That, in, in, the in a lot of the, in a lot of the rankings, he's top five. In the uh, WBA, according, according to this, he's second. Okay, no, third, sorry. 
there you go. So like Dan Dan is is on a really nice trajectory, but he is yeah. incredibly smart and incredibly on top of his career. He's not taking anything until he's, re- he's there. His for career's it. only really just got started. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Sky needs Sky need to start giving him that main event before um, before we even, get to those fights. Even co-mains. Like, co-mains yeah. are fine. Co-mains behind and, the big And until big he's fight. done a few of those, like, like yep. Yard has main evented and headlined a f- how many? A few times. A few, a good few times. Even Boatsy has. Yeah. This is it. So, so like, that, you, like, you're not, not, you're not stepping that into yet. those world levels yet. It, not that the level's not there. It's just stupid to do things like that too early. You want to at least, it's still a job. It's still a career. Rinse mm-hmm. it a little. Yep. Those paydays help. They, they'd set you up so that then you can be prepared for the big, big fights because they're going to put the money in the bank for you to then invest in your strength conditioning, your yep. nutrition, your training, your equipment, your travel, your sparring partners, everything else. Do it the wrong way around. You don't have that money in the bank. You don't have that set up. You're going in half cocked. I said to you the other night that I think Callum Johnson comes out of retirement. Yeah, I think, and I just I think, think that, that he's 365 he's kilos. So, <laughs> so big. He's like a scrum half had a baby with a Range Rover Sport. And, and he's also he's a unit. with injuries. Yeah, I think he's having a little bit of time off and I think he's got the taste for it. He's been on all of the he's been all of the websites. He's talking I think he about wants, it. I think he wants a pundit job, you know. I don't blame him. It's a pretty sweet gig. It pretty, is, isn't pretty it? Pretty <laughs> sweet. Like, if it got offered, I'd do it. Why wouldn't you? I'd be the new Buncey. Just do it just for the fun oh, of it. Let's not get started on Buncey. <laughs> uh, but I am... Um, Who else it, have you got it... to run off and get at us for a yard? Yeah. We've who's... got top top five in a lot of the um, a lot of the rankings is uh, Jean Pascal, the Canadian Jean, boxer. Jean Pascal. Jean Pascal is number one. He's That's a not headbutt in Billy Goat. He's, He's a, a headbutt head in Billy Goat. goat. And he has tested I positive for yard... everything. Yeah, Ever? I think Yard Several kills times. him. His yeah. style is not the sort of style that you want to put in front of Yard. He yeah. dies in the in, yeah. in the ring. That fact. And I believe Jean he's Pascal well. is yeah. You know, Jean oh, Pascal he's, 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 he's got to be nearly 30, 40. 30, 30, 30, 30, he is 40. He's 40, 40 isn't he? There, yeah, he's 40. And he's IBF number one, isn't he? Yes, I, think I believe he is. so. He's IBF number one and, and like they turned down Listen, Jean Pascal. I oh, know, no, he's not. It's it's vacant. It the was... IBF ones. It's he's fourth at the moment. I thought he okay. was supposed to fight Callum um, Smith for the number one spot with the IBF. And then the Smith Callum lot Smith's was like tenth for the for the um, in the IBF yeah. rankings. That's yeah, they launched they launched that out. Or maybe it was Boetzi and Jean Pascal. I think it's maybe Boetzi and Jean Pascal. Jean Pascal and someone was linked pretty heavily very he recently. Gets, he gets. Absolute favours, John Pascal. Fact. Right, like, for the longest time. And always, like, like, the most favours, no matter who Whoa. beats him, no matter what happens. Do you know what it is? It's kind of karma, though, isn't it? Because he, I mean, let's be honest, I think he kind of beat Froch. Yeah. He, he kind of did beat Froch and he got completely and utterly turned over on, on a would razor. That, what? Would that be a good fight for, like, Yard to get that win back? But still a credible opponent, but not um not that much of a threat, if that makes sense. Jean Pascal. Like, I don't think Yard dangerous. needs an. I don't no, think Jean... Yard needs an opponent like Jean Pascal. I think he no. like a Joe Smith holds more credibility than a Jean Pascal, and it would it would it would do him more favors in yeah. his trajectory. A Jean Pascal do, do would be a little think... bit like you're fighting the guy that was beaten a while if... ago. You're fighting a 40 year old who hasn't yeah. been a world titleist for quite a long time. And we've Too seen many haters are going to start saying, like, oh, yeah, is it, it's just this. Is it that. like the equivalent of giving like Joe Joyce Derek Chisora? Yeah. 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 But very much so. Good, good analogy. But, that. but it's, it's what I'm saying though is even, like if they feed Pascal to Yard, is that still a credit? Is it still a creditable enough win? But it's I don't think so. After, uh, no, not no, 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 after performance against BF, Arta. No. After better be if it is. Because you, you're coming back not with a, a, a top 10 world ranked opponent. You can come back, you bring him <laughs> over, you have that You have that fight in the copper box, you have that You, you have that in a decent sized venue. The o, yeah, the O2, <laughs> I went past it today. You have it in the O2, for example, in a decent Queensbury card. And you yeah. just basically have Yard destroy someone who is to be fair jean pascal still looks physically spectacular and he's got all of the credentials he's a former world champion from a sales perspective you can absolutely sell yard and pascal 
but from his from the fan and career perspective, it does, uh, it does nothing. Delete that. Delete that, out, Sammy J. Fine, but it's after the ten minute mark. It's after the ten minute mark. We're all right. We're all right. It's ten minutes. So, <laughs> so if we we go for it, who, who would you so? Would you say Joe Smith's the fight you would want to see Yard have next? Or to me, yeah, is there someone yeah, because else? because it's it's easier to seem like a big risk. It's easier to seem like mm. and to build it like this is like a we're taking the hard route straight away. Personally, stylistically, I don't think it's too much of a problem for Yard. I think Yard's style, his power, everything about him, and everything he's shown and proved that he can do in yep. this last fight. It's almost easy work for him. I okay. I agree that Joe Smith would be my optimal choice for him. Joe Smith is huge. He's a power puncher. He's tough as yeah. old boots. He's an animal. He will only ever deliver you absolute value the second you see him in the ring. And kind of the same for Yard. In yeah. in a fantasy world, for me, I would love for Undisputed to be taken care of between Arturo and Dimitri. Let them deal with it oh. between each other. We've got six <laughs> months, right? And then we actually say, okay, look, both of you are saying you're number three. So you and Callum, you fight it and you get the first shot at Undisputed. Let's see what happens. I would love, love Yard and um, Callum. And there was even a poster of that for a little while that like, Del Boy put out, weren't there? Yeah, I, I made feel it, like yeah. I got hyped I feel... on that. I messaged yeah. Russ when I saw that and I was like, can't wait to see you at the O2, boy. I feel and like that's like, a... Oh, I feel like that's like an easy make post yeah. Arthur Callum anyway. Because because what what All I'm have to do is, is they get... could easily they could easily do um, if um, Smith better be have does happen mm. they could have a filler fight with Yard maybe against like a uh, Craig Richards or a Pascal and then from there so now, once you know why Craig be, Richards will never be in that Smith, conversation. Because he is so, so, so hard to look good against. They need someone mm -hmm. for Yard to come back and destroy. Do you know what yeah. they might do? You know what they might do? They might take a proper gamble. Fucking left field. Let's have the, tri the trilogy with Lyndon. Let's see what it's really about. Lyndon hasn't got a promotional contract. He'll probably have to, he'll probably have to, Unfortunately, That's and he's okay. a fantastic fighter, and he wasn't in your list, Sam. That's rude. Uh, he was. He he is another one that's very much so in that mix. And you've won one, you've lost one. Yep. Maybe that's the one that you come back with. But to from fill a sales up the space perspective, between Smith. Yeah. yeah. From from a sales perspective, that's a very hard one to properly sell, except for. I've just had the hardest fight of my it's life. Everyone saw what I want. Everyone saw what I was going through. I need to wipe that clean. I know that we're one on one. I can't have that. I can't. I can't live with that. That guy needs to know that I'm better than him. But it's, um, it's exactly the same to Joe Parker at the moment going after Dillian White. No, like yeah. I think anything which is like a a trilogy fight or someone getting back their win, it 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 sells itself because it gives the illusion that there it's personal between them because it's not after a title or anything yeah casuals also match. think that trilogy fights only occur between the highest and highest and highest levels of fights they That's think that saying. instantly everything's uh um barrera uh morales. morales they think that every single trilogy is that mm -hmm. not necessarily true no nope. like gay ward the third fight wasn't amazing second fight was like okay the thing is, it's like you you know each other so well at that point after three fights. Yep. Like the first fight, it's only I mean, the, the Mexican the Mexican hatred that can continue to have that. The they hated each other. That, they that, that, yeah, each other. yeah, that was Aztec versus Mayan. But yeah. we'll, we'll deal with that one on another day, probably on Punch's Chance Film Study, because that's yeah. big, right? That's huge. I'm saying the most outside the one. If we were C C word minded, bringing out Lyndon. This Linden's is, a good smart. shout. Linden's a good one. It's a smart, get... risky move. I mean, because you don't know what Linden you're going to get. You might get the Linden no. that absolutely shuts him down with jabs that's got two hands. Because let's be real, Linden is no joke whatsoever. No and and he, you know that he's no joke because he took an L from Yard, granted a bad L, 
Here's where Neem got a promotional contract. Yard takes an L against Linden. He gets a rematch, has a fight against an Uber driver, and then fights the number one and he's the nation's hero again. But that's how good Linden is that they want to shelf him. He's got, he, yep. he's one of them ones. Joe Smith, number one, because that's a pay-per-view. That's a big top rank card out. That's in a pay-per-view that they can do here. They That's the they can do, do here. They can do that on a big card in the states. They have Michaela Mayer on there. They have yeah. like they they, yeah. they have like a bunch of top rank. They probably have like get Inua over again. Like have Inua Fulton. UK US no chance. Will always sell, will not it? UK yeah. US always sells. Always always, always sells. sells. And and UK someone... US and a, and a all British fight will always sell. Always right. Then we've got Lyndon as the outside wild wild card yeah yeah yeah. the proper curveball the the actual yeah, one that's genius could you imagine if that's what come out next we'd look like we were from the future profit fact yeah paladins and you know callum smith would be great that would be nice ramirez that's would something be nice. that's the uh, callum smith something i see being the fights be made later on yeah yeah i won't be surprised if boatsy's campaigning for callum smith no Boetsy and Callum Smith would also be good. Boetsy and Yard would be huge. Like, like I'm saying. The Boetsy Yard's sh- the one that I see being the hardest to actually occur. I, I, I don't think that's the easiest one to make. I kind Is of the- think that's the most likely, though, because there must be a reason why they got him to punditry. I agree. I actually True. agree, because there is no, because- there was no reason. The second that I saw him up yeah. there next to Dens, who, who was spectacular, shout out Dens, uh, I, I immediately thought, this is the insurance policy. Because they would have had to pull a lot of strings to get him in as well. Yeah. But it would have had to go through a lot of people for it. To, and also, Boatsy is not the best talker. So get him in on a punditry. Yeah, he wasn't Death giving must value. must have been a it? reason for it. It's like, Denz is always going to have chat, 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 chat. Mm. And that... <coughs> yeah. And cares? that... F- <gasps> oh, and that ah. stroke of a geezer giving him the old, are you sure you're ready for this? Jog on, yes, you I'm cut sure. your own hair, you yeah, 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 yeah. You use the suck cut from Wayne's World. That's what you yeah. use. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a film from Before Your Time. It was very good. Uh, okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, 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 Wayne's World, Wayne's World, Mike Myers. Shrek. You know him as Shrek. Yeah. That's what yeah, you it was when he was still young. Yeah. Pre-Austin uh, powers, that. Yeah, pre-Austin. But yeah, uh, to be fair, there, there's so many options for Yard that anything it, it, i wouldn't be shocked with anything linden oh, would not be oh. surprising boatsy would not be surprising there but the boatsy so highly ranked with he's number one for wbo right he's he's highly ranked for mm, wbo yeah. he's pretty decently ranked i for think WBC. he's in top five for all of them exactly so it's yeah. uh, the, okay so the one saving grace for those other fights is that the champions are either tied up with mandatories or each other. So that is a big saving grace that they either fight each other or they both have, I don't even know who's mandatory for Bivol because I thought it was um, Josh Boatsy. I thought that they'd been chasing that for a while and then, you know, it never really materialized. And it's like, well, did you try that hard? What are you saying? Sam, who do you want? Who would you, who would you get? What, what do you kids call it? No cap gassed. Hmm. Who would I get no cap gas about? Yeah, 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 no cap gas. Um, I think what they'll do is they'll do a filler fight. I think they'll do a filler fight in between because I think Queensbury quite like to do them. And yeah. then it's, I, it's, I'd it's, quite it's like... called being a good promoter, to be honest. You don't yeah. you don't just yeah. feed I'm your triple A prospects. Yeah, yeah, no, you just don't do that. Like you, you yeah. have to get them back, getting back to winning ways, knocking people out. I they just hope the that the, the fight in between is a decent enough name that it will, it's not just going to be a complete walkover. Right. But I think there'll be a filler fight and then Callum Smith after Better Be Ever, because I think that, I think that will happen. Mm. Yes. Purely because, and I, I've said this from the get go, I think so many people in boxing are not going to want to make Better Be Ever Bivol. I think uh, I think we're kind of moving into the era now where uh, where we're to. getting we're finally getting <laughs> the big fights. For example, Jake and Tommy. Who cares about Shout Spence out. and who cares about Spence and Crawford or better be Evan Bivol? Because we're getting Spence, we're getting Tommy and, and Jake. 
if you were if you were to pick your your one, Jess, with Joe Smith, yeah, 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 I think Joe uh, Smith. I think that it's it, that's an easy big sell. They're it's both also got, got to be the easiest both, to make. Yeah, easily, and and like, they're both off the same. They're coming both off the same boat. Yeah, yeah. So I say Joe, I say Joe Smith too. I think right. it's 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 the best performance we're going to see as well. Patreon.com, fighting words, support the boys. If you want to end at a five pound tier, it's decent. The familiar tier, familiar tier. You got the two pound tier, you got the three pound fifty tier, and the ten pound domestic don tier, where you get access to all of our premium content as well as engagement with us and uh, insults if you want them to any one of your choosing. Patreon.com, fighting words.